Hi, it's Eric Qualman, number one best-selling author. You might know me as Equal Man. I've been blessed to write six number one bestsellers and perform in 47 countries, reaching 25 million people this decade. But I'm super excited to join forces with the NCAA. We're gonna go over practical tips, like how do you post it forward? You've heard about paying it forward. Posting it forward is doing the exact same thing online. It's not about you, it's about shining the light on others, whether it's a friend, whether it's a teammate, whether it's a company you're trying to get a job with. We're gonna to stress to you how to post it forward in the coming months. Our digital leadership education materials cover a lot of ground, but one thing we wanna make sure that we stress is how to produce your best digital stamp. Now, what exactly is your digital stamp? It's comprised of two different things. It's comprised of your digital footprint, and that's something you've heard about a lot on CNN or read in the New York Times. Your digital footprint is anything that you upload about yourself, or maybe it's a post on YouTube, it's a tweet, it's a text, it's a share on Instagram. So we have control over that digital footprint. But the more important part of your digital stamp is what's called the digital shadow. Your digital shadow is what others post about you online. And so those two factors together, the digital footprint plus your digital shadow, produce your digital stamp. And our materials are designed to make sure you produce your best stamp because essentially it gets down to your own personal branding or the branding of your company and it helps drive all of your current success as well as your future success. You see, when it comes to your digital stamp, we all have our own personal story and I want you to embrace that. However unique that might be, you've got to go deep on that story. When you think about me, if you look at these crazy green glasses, there's actually a funny story behind these and it's actually helped me become very good at business and for my business it increased our revenue dramatically and we'll get into that story in the months ahead but I know each one of you has your own individual story and all we want to do is give you the digital tools to make that story as bright as it can be. Now keep in mind we're not trying to produce perfect people none of us are perfect so we want you to embrace a concept called being flossom. It's not through our perfections that people love us, it's actually through our flaws. When we make a mistake, do we take the time and effort to number one, own that mistake, number two, indicate what we're gonna do to fix it, and then third, do we follow through and actually fix it? And the research shows that people love flawsome people and they love flawsome companies. I mentioned your one word and what I'd like you to do to get to that one word is you can do this right now. Take out a piece of paper, and sketch out a bullseye, so you have a, a circle in the middle. And I want you to write down what that one word is, what you want to be your digital stamp five seconds from now, five years, 50 years from today. Or to put it differently, if you were to Google your name, what's the one word you want to show up? One of the top questions I always get is what should I post online, or more importantly, what should I not post online? There's a lot of things and details I could go into on this, but to get you 90% there, it'll all go back to two things that I'm about to tell you. So if you do these two things, you'll be 90% where you need to be when it comes to the question of what should I post or what should I not post when it comes to digital. The first rule of thumb is think about your boss or your mom or your dad looking over your shoulder and reading what you've posted or looking at that photo or the video. Would you be embarrassed if they were looking at that? If that's the case, that's the mom rule, don't post it. The second rule I wanna give you here is the three second rule. Now what is the three second rule? The three second rule applies to, if you have to think more than three seconds, whether this is a value or appropriate to post online, then don't do it, it's not. When we talk about the value, Ensure that it's something like, everyone needs to know this about my brand or my personal brand. Everyone needs to know this information. It's definitely a value to the end user. So again, it shouldn't take more than three seconds. It has to be that powerful that you definitely need to post that out there. So that's the three second rule. So if you adhere to those two rules on what to post and what not to post, don't post it if you'd be embarrassed if your mom, your dad, your boss saw it. And secondarily, the three second rule, you will be golden. You see, you need to understand there's a beautiful world in which we live in, that success is a choice because mainly due to all these digital tools, there's no more gatekeepers. If we want to go and achieve something, we can do it. If we're the next Justin Bieber or the next Lady Gaga when it comes to music, we don't have to wait for a music label to sign us up. We can post our music on YouTube and go from there. And I can give you an example after example after example of how people are doing this on their own. That's why entrepreneurship is blowing through the roof. Or entrepreneurs, those that work at major companies, 
are actually having that entrepreneurial spirit inside those companies. But it all starts with your digital stamp or your digital reputation. That's how important these items are because whatever vocation we decide to go into, it's all about trust. Do we trust that person? And part of that trust factor today is actually digital reputation because it is fast becoming your de facto reputation. Think about the last time you're about to meet someone. What'd you do? You Googled your, their name. You looked at them on LinkedIn. You looked at their Instagram account. So that's why we're going to go over these with our educational materials coming forward because that's what we're going to cover off, how to produce your best and protect it. And if we look at two stories, one negative and one positive, it showcases exactly what I'm talking about and exactly the need for us to produce our best and then to protect it. So there was a University of Mississippi college football player that was projected to be drafted in the top 10 in the NFL draft. But the day of the draft, Someone that had access to his Twitter account posted a video of him smoking a huge gas mask of marijuana. So that caused all the NFL teams pause, and so he slid several positions in the draft. And it's estimated it cost him seven to $12 million. And again, that's not something that he posted. It was actually something that someone else posted. It was part of his digital shadow. Now on the positive side, a lot of you might be familiar with the story of Anthony Robles, but if you aren't, let me go in. It's one of the greatest stories. You see, Anthony trained super hard, and he was told that he would never be good at wrestling. They told him you should go into something else, like music, or maybe you'd be better off going over here, maybe in archery, where you could sit down and shoot a bow and arrow. But he said, you know what, this is who I am, this is what I want to be, this is what I want to become, I'm going to stick with it, I'm going to grind it out. And eventually he became a champion at wrestling from Arizona State University. I look forward to partnering with you in the coming months. I look forward to all of you individually reaching out to me. I'm very easy to find. It's just Equal Man across the board. Equal Man at EqualMan.com. Equal Man on Twitter. You get the point. But you can find me easily digitally. Just Google my name. And then also my mobile phone number is 404-808-4561. Please text, tweet, and treat me nicely.